the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Today, let's ask the question, should you use keywords in your title or should you give it a unique name for branding purposes? All right, so today, although the weather's not great, we have a really nice view of Wantage behind me. My office is down there somewhere. Today, I want to answer a question that came in from Twitter last week from Ben Chim. Uh, ben said, what's your opinion on name creation? Would you use a high-ranking keyword or use a unique name for branding purposes? See, this is a really good question because this highlights the problems we have with crowded app store and the crowded play store is that we have to start naming our apps more for search because unless your app gets featured or you have a really good marketing budget, nobody's going to find it. So let's say you have like a shooter. Let's say you have a game that's a shooter and you want to call it Rain of Bullets or something really cool like that. You have like a nice little storyline. You know, you, everything is perfect. But then you think maybe I should call it ultimate shooter game right for seo or aso purposes right ultimate shooter game is a terrible name it's a bad user experience people probably wouldn't like it but that's a probably a better name for search i mean it's probably not a better name for search because shooter game is i mean it's probably way crowded but you get what i'm saying like you're putting like high ranking keywords in your in your title just so that, that it ranks on search so this is the catch 22 of it you want the best user experience i mean you're putting a you, you're an artist so you put something out there and you want to have a really good name behind it you want to have a really good brand but you also want people to find it and of course the short term thing the solution that most of us use is the subtitle so the subtitle and i talk about it is your two app names you you have your one app name which goes underneath the icon it goes on your title screen and then you have the one for the play store now your app, you know, your title for the play store is going to be completely different it's going to be you know it's going to be rain of bullets colon the ultimate shooter game or whatever the keywords is you're looking for right and i i've never actually released a shooter game so i know that that one's probably way too crowded right and i mean it's really i mean you could try to change the name just temporarily to see if you get a a bump in in downloads because people are actually finding it use things like google keyword planner if you have sensor tower or mobile action use those to see what the what what people are searching for and which has lower competition right and do something like that i once read a book where they said you should you should not call it what you want to call it call it where it's search like just say what it does because you you're not an artist you know writing a book you're you're basically you want it to be found and i disagree with that completely i think you want the best user experience and if i if i was searching for for searching for like a shooter right and then i i typed in shooter into the google play search console and then i found ultimate shooter game i probably want to download it cuz it's just a i mean it's a dumb title but if it said rain of bullets then then yeah, that might be a little bit more intriguing, but you know, it's it's the two of them. I mean, how do you how do you rank for it? And of course, if you're using advertising and you have the marketing budget, then that's not so much of an issue. You can build up that brand. Another option might be, and I've seen people do this on YouTube, where their YouTube channel is called something what they do. Like a lot of programmers do this. They'll like their um, their channel will be called something to do with programming, and then as it gets more subscribers and more followers and it starts to get some steam then they'll change it to be more of a personal brand thing so they'll change it to be their own name or a different name or they'll try to change the focus of it but in order to get those first viewers they have to actually say what they do and they'll talk about something that's very niche to what they do so just a few different ideas there on that because you know we've we've tried both ways we've even changed the titles of, of some of our some of our apps just to see if they will do any better you know, and sometimes it does, and always be. You know, the 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 nice thing about a subtitle is that it's it you could change it. I mean, you can't change it on iOS unless you release another binary, but you can change it on on Google Play all the time, right? And sometimes Apple will actually reject it if it's not close enough to the title of the actual application. So, you know, let me know uh, uh, the rest of you guys out there who are releasing apps and you you have a bit of success there with search. I mean, what is it you're doing? Because for me, it's it's the subtitle all the way, right? I don't I don't go for the whole use keywords and don't call it what you want. Call it what you think the user. Give the user the best user experience. The problem you're going to experience, uh, the problem you're going to face is just that they can find it. So, anyway, that is it for today. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow.